you know what this is, put it down below. If you say pure pain, you would be right. That's an acceptable answer. All right, we're gonna set up two of our beds here that are gonna get the best light um, for grapes. And I'm just gonna comment below if you know what this is. Stop the video right now. If you know what this is, say, I know what that is, and then let me know what it is. But if you don't know what it is, watch and we'll show you how to use it. And then give us a like, comment, subscribe down below. But we're gonna get these grapes in the ground for their own dedicated bed. Got any grapes? <laughs> One. The reason I say pure pain is if this is your first time doing it or if you're a little sensitive hands, you might want to wear gloves because this really like that. And after you've driven your 25th pole, man, that's a shoulder workout you cannot duplicate in the gym. But yeah, you just put it over the T post. They make bigger ones that are for fence posts. Those are barbaric and should be outlawed in the Geneva's convention is what they should be because that's not even natural do I look like I'm in the middle of this bed I do not there I look like more in the middle you know we could measure but come on what's the fun in that <laughs> You see in the bottom? It doesn't go anywhere. So this is the new middle. And we'll try again. Better. I'm just using this to kind of measure, kind of getting them round about the same height. So it's this thing and then my forearm. That's my measurement tool. That middle one's really crooked. point of order though his name is a t-post driver or a post hole driver no post driver what do you call it i call it t-post driver because that's more normally what we drive with is t-post So you let me know when you have enough. You got enough yet? Okay, that's good for right now. You want to kind of push it around down there? All right. So, so, that, so when you put it in there, 
Try to kind of turn it so that when it grows up a little bit, yeah, this is gonna go. Also, the whole, that might be too deep. So. Yeah. Well, we gotta fill it up, remember? There we go. Is that good? Uh, Is there a little clay for you on the top? Thank you, Georgia. I did almost put some in a certain There we go. Okay. So now, see these things right here? Mm -hmm. Those are gonna reach out and grab and we'll teach it to, mm -hmm. to go right along there. My pants. That's called pants. Yeah. Sure. Can They're called play? tendrils, I think. You can put all of it in there. Gently around it. Just gently all around it. Ooh. Okay. My shoulders are absolutely on fire. I feel like my arms are about to fall off. I could try. You want with this thing? Yeah. Okay. Hey, give me yours. I'll be like you. A little wider. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm gonna just dig the dirt up. There you go. Nice. Nice. go just a little bit take it one notch lower so when we purchased these I purchased them in a dormant state so two of them had already started to send out green shoots and you can see that here they're looking pretty good we know for sure that they're alive this guy looks a little sad on the end but overall it looks it looks healthy the other two however there was four two two packs of two and the other two one of them is very much like a stick but i don't know if you can see it here there's green underneath that brown bark so i'm hopeful that it will come back and it's been a little it's been a little chilly at night too for the last couple of nights so once the weather is consistently warm i think it'll have a better chance this one though has these lovely little buds on it and i think that those are going to turn into growth like those first two so i'm not i'm not at all worried about this one overall i think they're going to do fine and um I'm pretty excited for grapes. Thanks for watching.